Alright, Genesis chapter 14. Abram rescues Lot. At this time, Aphrael, king of Shinar, Erot, king of Elasar, Ketalomar, king of Elam, and Tadal, king of Goan, went to war against Bera, king of Sidon. Excuse me. Baraj, king of Gomorrah, Shiva, king of Ada, Shabor, or Shembar, king of Zebom, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar. All these later kings joined forces in the valley of Sodom, the Salt Sea. For twelve years they had been subject to Kedorlamora, but in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Kedorlamora and the kings allied with him went out and defeated the Rephatites. Rephatites and Ashtaroth, Karnam, the, Z the Zootites in Ham, the Emetites in Shada Karathium, sorry, and the Horatites in the hill country of Seir. As far as the El Paran near the desert, then they turned back and went to En Misfat, that is Kadash, and they conquered the whole territory of the Amalekites as well as the Amorites, who were living in Haz 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 Hazan Tamar. I thought they had some weird kids' names. Alright, verse 8. Then the king of Sodom, Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Z Zebom, and the king of Bela, that is Zor, marched out and drew up their battle lines in the valley of Sodom against Kedolomar, king of Elam, title king of Goan, um, and Raphael, king of Shinar, and Erach, king of El Elasar, four kings against five. Now the valley of Sidon was full of tar pits, and when the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some of their men fell into them, and the rest fled to the hills. The four kings seized all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all the food, then they went away. They also carried off Ephraim's nephew Lot in his possessions, since he was living in Sodom. Once one who had escaped came and reported this to Abram the Hebrew. Now Abram was living near the great tree of Mamre, Mamre the Amorite, a brother of Eshcol and Aner, all of whom were allied with Abram. When Abram heard that his relatives had been taken captive, he called out the three 118 trained men born in his household and went in pursuit as far as Dan. During the night, Abram divided his men to attack them and he routed them. Pursuing them as far as Hobah, north of Damascus, he recovered all the goods and brought back his relative Lot and his possessions 
together with the women and the other people. After Abram returned from defeating Kedlorma and the kings allied with him, the king of Saddam came out to meet him in the valley of Shava, that is the king's valley. Then Mechlezek, king of Salem, Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God's Most High, and he blessed Abram, saying, Blessed be Abram by God's Most High, creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God's Most High, who delivered your enemies into your hand. Then Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and keep the goods for yourself. But Abram said to said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord, God most high, creator of heaven and earth, and have taken an oath that I will accept nothing belonging to you, not even a thread or the thong of a sandal, so that you will never be able to say, I made Abram rich. I will accept nothing but what my men have eaten and the share that belonged to the men who went with me to Anar, Eshkol, and Mare. Let them have their share. That's it for chapter 14. So, doing a little chapter by chapter like this ain't too bad because that was only like six minutes and a half. Well, it ain't all that bad. Alright, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes.